What's up BP athletes, it's your boy Spence Crosby and today we're going to be talking about the most practical kick that anyone can learn. When it comes to combat, a lot of people overcomplicate it. They like to throw in all these different fancy moves, which are really impractical. He needs some milk! And that's where today's video comes in handy. I'm gonna be giving you guys a simple, basic kick that can be used in any form of combat. And that kick is the basic front kick. So we're gonna get in a fighting stance, right hand lead, or you can do left hand lead, whichever stance you feel comfortable with. And I'm gonna throw the front kick from a lead position. Or you can throw the rear leg. So let's talk about a couple of different things that's happening. When I'm throwing this leg from a lead position, I'm just trying to create distance. Boom. I'm just trying to really engage my distance. There's not a lot of power that's on the lead front kick. But if I want to create power, I can still create power from the lead leg, but a lot of power comes from that rear leg. Now let's say you wanna create power or you really wanna hurt the guy. So I'm in there and I, like I said before, I can still throw it from my lead leg, but I wanna knock this guy out. Coming in there, boom. I'm just snapping the kick. Do it again, boom, just like that. You don't wanna make this a push kick. What I mean by a push kick is I'm coming in and I'm just pushing. You don't want to make it that. You really want to snap that kick. Now, like I said before, I can still generate power from that lead leg. So we're in our stance, and I'm just, boom. Just giving them a tap, come back, boom. Just like that. I can still generate that power. And I also could change levels. I can go to his quad area. I can go solar plexus chest area, or boom, right into his chin. Now he has his guard up, so you have to make sure you create those circumstances for that to happen. And the great thing about front kicks, it's a linear kick. So it's no circular motion like in a roundhouse, a hook kick or spinning hook kicks. It's a straight kick, sort of like a straight punch. So once again, we're in there, I'm creating that distance. I'm trying to engage where he's at and I might change levels where I might look into his eyes, but I'm actually going into his belly area. So once again, when you're throwing that front kick, Chamber your leg, okay? Chamber it. The higher you get with that chamber, the more power you're gonna generate. It's like a bow and arrow. You're charging it up, shooting. The further you bring it back, the stronger the arrow is. So once again, I'm in my stance and I'm throwing a straight kick, boom, 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 boom. Or once again, for that power, boom. Come back, boom, right there. That's how you really could take someone out. If you just shoot them right in the quad or in their knees, you might change levels, boom. You're just trying to get a feel for your opponent. Don't, don't just throw the front kick in the hopes of, I might hit him or I hope to hit him. Try to be smart when it comes to combat. So you can use the level changes to create the big shot. And what I mean is, so I'm going boom, boom, boom. Just like that. And so you see, me constantly aiming for his leg and then I change the level to aim at his head, that's how you create those openings. And that's why I think the front kick is the most essential and most practical kick anyone can learn. Once again, you're in your stance, you're chambering his leg, kick, kick. Make sure you add that snap. And what I mean by the snap is chamber, boom, boom, boom. That's how you generate power. One more important tip. When you're throwing your front kick, you're probably wondering about where do I hit in terms of my foot? You can hit with the balls of your feet. You can also hit with your heel, or you could just hit with the entire foot. So I'm throwing that front kick. This time I'm switching stances. Boom. And I might just go with the heel, kicking up. Or I might just go just full foot. 
Another thing is, last one, keep your hands up. You don't want to get lazy and throw a kick just like that. With no enthusiasm. You want to make sure you're right there and you're like, boom, boom. Got to get hype, you know? So let's get in our stance. Hands up, guarding our chin. And that's how you throw a front kick. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'm gonna show up at your front step just like this. And I'm like, you ain't subscribed yet? You didn't? Right in your Peace!